guys, we'll give you 45 seconds. Uh, we'll start with you, Gene, uh, to tell us a little bit about just who you are, not what you're running on, but who you are. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Brian and the Herald Chronicle and WCDT. Appreciate y'all doing this. Uh, I'm Gene Sneed. Uh, I've served on Winchester City Council since 2001. Uh, been a longtime member of our community, and uh, my wife is Joy, and my children are Stetson and Christian, and uh, we live in the Shadowbrook area. Uh, <clears throat> that's who I am, and uh, I serve on the commission as well. So uh, it's very interesting, and, and I look forward to, and I would appreciate uh, everybody's vote. Thank you, Jay. Bruce? Thank you, Al. Uh, my name is Bruce Spencer, and I'm a candidate for uh, city council in Winchester, uh, running on for my third term. And uh, I was born and raised in uh, Winchester. Uh, my uh, wife uh, uh, of 40 years, Joey, is the best part of me. Uh, we have two sons. I presently serve uh, on the council as a uh, vice mayor for the last six years. Uh, I serve on the planning and zoning board, uh, the finance committee, uh, the Winchester utility system, and uh, I hold a seat on the board of the Winchester Downtown Program Corporation. Pretty active in city government. Uh, it, it is uh, my hometown, and uh, I certainly uh, appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here tonight, Al. Thank you. And thank you very much. And Ray Stovall. I'm Ray Stovall, and I graduated in 1977. I worked construction in the Winchester area for around four years. I uh, moved to Pasadena, Texas in 1982, stayed seven months, came back, I moved to Tampa, Florida in 84, 85, then I came back. I've lived on 12th Avenue Northwest since around 1996. I've never ran for office. I've never been arrested. And I'd ask for your vote for Winchester City Council. Thank you. Okay, since you're up there, we can start with you. The first question. Yes, and Winchester's faced financial hurdles, and what do you think should be done to overcome them? I haven't got to look at any of the books or know exactly what exact items are, but I would want to see what the budget is, see what the tax rates are, if there need to be an increase, which I believe there already is, or we need to just cut some of the office personnel or some of the employees to help balance the budget. Okay, thank you, Mr. Steed. Same question. Uh, Winchester's faced financial hurdles, and what do you feel should be done to overcome them? Well, I think we've been working long and hard at overcoming those obstacles. Uh, we've uh, seen big expenses, and uh, especially things like employees' health care going up exponentially for years, and uh, trying to keep up with uh, that type of cost that you can't control. And uh, there's been other <clears throat> so other things uh, that have come along that are kind of state mandated type things and what we've got to do what we've been trying to do is to continue to expand our sales tax base we've uh, contracted with a firm to do some retail recruiting for us and uh, that's a that's a citywide recruiting effort and uh, hopefully that will net some results for us and we've got a project that uh, I started working on in 2001 and have been finally seeing it come to fruition at the Twin Creeks development at the marina. Uh, should expand our sales tax, sales tax base as well. But uh, these are the things that we need to do uh, in order to be able to meet the demands of continuing to provide great service, but also the costs of running a city government. And so hopefully we can continue to expand our sales tax base and not have to hit property owners as much with property taxes. Thank you. Mr. Spencer. Same question. Uh, 
thank you, Brian, for that question. Uh, Gene answered it uh, uh, extremely well. Uh, we, we have had some, uh, over the last several years, uh, several capital, large capital outlay projects that we have completed. Uh, probably like most city governments, county governments, you know, we, we've had some struggles. Uh, however, uh, uh, the, uh, we certainly anticipate our sales tax to continue to rise. Uh, he did mention also one of the big projects that's in uh, Winchester, the uh, Twin Creek development. Uh, as well as the commercial entity that will be there. Uh, we certainly look forward and are very excited for that project. Uh, we uh, always love the retail sales dollars, uh, like most any city. Uh, we're estimating right now uh, the end of 2018 to have uh, a fund balance of approximately $1.6 million in our fund balance. So that's what we're projecting at this time. But uh, what, percentage, what percentage is that of the overall budget approximately? Is it the state usually wants, I think it's 5% uh, for municipalities. Does that, does that we, meet your goals? We're uh, in 17, uh, our budget uh, uh, is, is right around uh, 10,000, let's say 100,000. No, no, let me, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's uh, $10 million, if, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right, Gene? Yeah, I think we're closer to what you're saying as far as how those are Right, yeah. So uh, we, we have uh, had some uh, uh, pitfalls, but uh, we are, uh, I think, uh, doing a, a good job right now with our fund balance in the position that we're in. Okay. Bruce, you. while you're there. Yeah. Uh, People are still talking about the Dogwood Festival and the fact that it has gone away and, and people regret that it's gone away. Uh, how do you feel about that? And would you, in a second part of that, do you feel like that's something that needs to be brought back to life in the city? Um, and can great, we afford to bring it back? Great question. Um, first of all, yes, I would like to see it brought back. Um, I was, uh, I voted... Uh, to continue that project, and um, uh, I think that it was a, a, an asset for the city and for our entire county and communities. Um, can we afford it? Um, I think we could uh, if we uh, looked at it with some open mind and um, um, you know, we might need to change some of the uh, uh, ways that we were running that program, that, that project. But uh, I think that uh, it was certainly uh, from the, just the sales tax alone and the revenue the, uh, that it brought into our community, not only that weekend, but for uh, weeks and months and years down the road, it really wasn't, I think, uh, uh, you know, if you're in business, you've got to spend a little money and advertise and sell yourself. And um, I think that was uh, one of the things that the dog would allow Winchester to do. Uh, great project, I, I, it, it would have my full support. Thank you. Thank you. And Ray, we got the uh, same question uh, for you in reference to the uh, Dogwood Festival. Do you support that and do you think it should be brought back and can we afford to bring it back? Well, if we brought it back, I believe it should be moved to the Winchester City Park. And that way more people could get out there. It wouldn't be so congested for all the residents of Winchester. I don't know exactly how much money they pay to the band that performs the last show at night, but I hear it's quite a bit of money. And I don't know if it's like 10,000 and one year it rained, and there was only like 100 people there because it was raining, but I heard it, they did do a great performance. So I would have to look at how much is being paid by the city and try and, you know, if there is enough money justified coming in to the city to justify it, and if it did, I would request that it be go to the Winchester City Park and get it off the square. So you would be in favor of bringing it back to life if it's justifiable? If it's justifiable, 
you know, financially, I would. But if it's a money loser, I would not be for it. All right, thanks. Gene? The Dogwood Festival was a growth out of an effort of the Winchester's Tourism Committee back in 2003 to find a way to enhance tourism in Winchester and Franklin County and also to pay tribute to the dogwood growers of Franklin County who've patented some dozen different patents of the flowering dogwood over the years, over many years. So they were the, that was the two-pronged approach to the, to the festival to begin with, and it, it, it did a lot, as, as Bruce pointed out, to, to increase sales tax. We filled up the hotels, uh, the eateries were filled up. Uh, I, along, as Bruce said, I also voted to keep the festival. Uh, I think there's a way to bring it back. Uh, one of the concerns was that it cost too much money and uh, really when you look at the benefits countywide of the project and what it's done and look at the, I mean if you just don't take long to look at the spinoffs in the rest of the county that have come out of the Dogwood Festival, um, they're plain to see. But I think the, 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 great, the, the greater good of it uh, outweighs the, uh, the cost. Maybe uh, a privatized approach is a good approach uh, where the city doesn't have as much money invested in it. Um, but I'd like to see it come back. It was a good event, a uh, world-class event for, for 12 years, and, and uh, uh, I miss it, and I think a lot of our citizens miss it, and uh, I'd like to see it come back. Since we got you up there. Yes, sir. Okay, Winchester has, has experienced a stagnant growth pattern, and what do you think needs to be done to correct that? And what do you think needs to be done to further promote the downtown area and the city of Winchester in general? Okay. Well, you know, you're always trying to promote yourself um, as far as, uh, you know, of course, we have a growth plan uh, that's, that's on record and has been for some time, and uh, we're moving in that direction. We moved, uh, uh, we moved a fire hall out to the park area as growth has continued that direction. Now with some major growth out the, going back toward Cowan, we're going to be moving a fire hall out that direction. Um, so there's the the growth is there. I think the the slowdown in growth was 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 kind of a nationwide thing that we experienced, and we we weren't insulated from that. But as far as promoting the downtown, you know, we've got a, a Main Street program uh, and headed up by Abby Pickett and a downtown uh, group that uh, works very hard with lots of really neat uh, activities going on in the downtown district, uh, the Winchester Riggle being one of those, um, farm to table dinner being another, and, and several other things that they do during the year to, to really bring people into the downtown district specifically. Um, but I think the festival is a big thing for promoting our city. There are, there, are, there are entrepreneurs in Franklin County now that came here and established their business here because of the Dogwood Festival. I mean, that, that happened. and. Uh, it would continue to happen. Uh, you know, Twin Creeks is a, is a huge development with, with the marina and the, and the townhouses and everything that's going on out there. Um, so I think we're, we're poised for growth. You know, you, you, you got to, growth is a good thing, but growth also costs you infrastructure and so forth. So you've got to uh, keep that all balanced as you move forward and grow uh, under control and that type of thing. So. But um, yeah, I mean, bright. The the future for Winchester is very bright. Okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Spencer. Same question to you. Thank you, Brian. Uh, what Gene said, uh, I certainly would agree with. Uh, we we are Winchester's in a, a prime uh, opportunity to continue to grow. 
Uh, we do have uh, the Main Street program uh, with Miss Pickett, Miss Abby Pickett uh, as our director. Uh, Winchester Downtown Program Corporation is very active uh, and uh, facilitating uh, the buildings downtown and uh, projects that that uh, that we can do uh, in that area of downtown within that nine block area. Uh, but uh, we uh, we have a retail recruitment program that's going on. Uh, we're always trying to recruit uh, new businesses, not only within the nine block area, but within Winchester as a whole. But uh, we, we do see a lot of positive things going forward for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Stobal, quest, same question to you. Could you repeat the question for me? The question is, Winchester has experienced a stagnant growth pattern. What do you think needs to be done to correct it? And what do you think needs to be done to further promote the downtown area and the city of Winchester in general? Okay. Some of the problems may be the traffic. They built the new cul-de-sac circle on Highway 64 over to Highway 50, which helped the traffic a whole lot. If you come from Walmart on Bible Cross, you can just go to the stop sign, Old Estill Springs Road, you come out in the Winchester City Park below the tennis courts. You turn to the left, you come into our town, and a lot of people turn there on 7th or so, go over and hit Elm Street. And it is highly traveled. I don't know if you travel that road or not, but there's a lot of traffic hits Highway 50. There needs to be a better route from maybe where the new road hit Highway 50 to over to the Walmart area, a better travel road, be more convenient, because 18 wheelers were unable to get around some of the area, but it did help when they put in that new road. And on the square, I really don't know exactly what would be the best plan. Maybe more parking, be more convenient. Because I know I do not go up there very much because the parking is not the best in the world. You know, if they would open up, I really don't know exactly how, but, you know, maybe buy some property, you know, they're at close, it's vacant. You know, make a parking lot and maybe have some more tax incentives for new businesses to come in on the square. I don't know exactly how many buildings are vacant on the square, but I believe there are two or three. And... So if you do some tax incentives, go out and recruit, maybe go to other cities that are a little bit bigger than Winchester and find out exactly what businesses are on their list of, you know, progress and companies that are moving forward, maybe they would be good for Winchester. Thank you. Thank you I have much. one final question, and we'll start with you, sir. You're, you're walking around Winchester, you're observing, and you're looking at things, and you look down and you see a bottle. You reach down, and you grab the bottle, and you've got to fumbling with it, and you take the top off, and poof, here comes a genie out. And the genie comes out and says, I'm going to grant you one wish, whatever you'd like to have, but it can only be done to benefit the city of Winchester. What would your wish be to benefit the city of Winchester with your one wish? I believe we just need to get uh, more businesses that would help the city of Winchester. Would you just uh, want to ask for overall business or would you ask for a particular business, type business? Any type of good businesses, small, one, maybe a, just one person owns the business. It could be a, maybe a corporate that has a franchise. You know, just whatever will work best for the city of Winchester. Thank you. Gene, I got the same question for you. You stumbled upon that magic bottle and the genie came out and said, Gene, I'll give you whatever, but it has to be for the city of Winchester. Well, Al, I can't think of anything really exciting, but I would say it would be nice to think that uh, we would just be able to, to, to do a good job by the employees of the, uh, of the city of Winchester, uh, make it a good place to work, make it a good place to live, provide good services for our people, and continue to, to, continue to progress and prosper uh, as we have. And uh, as far as a big wish from the genie in the bottle, 
I don't know. I, <laughs> uh, uh, rain when we need it, and and some and and when we and when we don't need it. How about that, Al? That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> Works for me. Bruce, same question. Al, thank you. Um, good, great question, actually. Um, as, as Gene was answering that, uh, my first thoughts were uh, to use that towards the, the employees and the staff of, of the city, uh, but probably to, uh, uh, in addition to that, probably use that to enhance uh, the the overall uh, city government, as far as uh, projects that we that we have done in the past and in, in, in our capital outlay, and um, to just keep things moving forward for the future, uh, that would be a, a, a wonderful bottle if we could find that. Thanks, Al. Thank you, and thank you guys for coming and being with us tonight. And uh, that's all of our candidates, Brian, tonight. And we greatly appreciate you coming out and participating. And we want to encourage everybody to go out and vote. It's coming up. We've got uh, early voting going on, and the election's August 3rd. So everybody that's out there has, has kind of got to, to see who's here. And, and uh, we greatly appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much. You know, and I think in closing up that we want to encourage everyone to please go out and vote. Uh, if you're a registered voter in any of these cities, you know, please go vote because, you know, as we talked about, there's a lot of needs, Brian, that these cities have for future growth, future needs, and without having the right leadership uh, in place in these particular cities, you know, we might not see a, a prosperous future. That's true, and, and we got...